Welcome back everybody, this is Buddy Blackford and we're gonna keep continuing the animation process here. Um, this is the second part of the basic animation tutorials and this time we're going to go over the uh, Bezier handles and editing your motion path. So what I'm talking about is at each keyframe and uh, these are the keyframes down here um, or on your motion path these these square boxes here those are your keyframes also um, they're at the same points as you can see when I click on one on the end one it highlights the end one I click on the middle one it highlights the middle keyframe right here so we're going to be learning how to edit those and add more points so right now the arrow tool up here which is V uh, which is also called the selection tool and the pen tool here which is G are very useful and you use those the most when you're editing your motion paths um, to quickly switch if you're on the arrow tool to quickly switch to the pen tool it's G and if you hit V it switches back to the selection tool now to do like a temporary switch hold down G and if you let go it'll go back to the arrow tool it's really quick and now you can see what I'm talking about by knowing those hotkeys how that stuff is helpful so um, right now when you create a keyframe it creates it defaultly as an auto bezier keyframe and when um, you cr when you uh, mess with the handles and everything like that, which I'll show you those real quick, you click if you click on them, they have these handles right here. There you go. When you touch the handles, it changes the w the the type of keyframe that you have. So you start out with the auto bezier, which is. I'll, I'll type that for you real quick. How, I'll show you how it's spelled because it's spelled weird. Oh, nice white font. All right, change that so you can see it. There you go. That's how you. That's how it's spelled. It's called. It sounds like bizarre, but it's not. And people, you will hear people say it like that, and it's funny. But don't ever say bizarre. Always say Bezier, else you'll get made fun of, probably. That's kind of like a little joke in the industry. So click back on your layer there. And let's see. It's on the Auto Bezier now. Now if you select a point and rotate the handles, you'll go to it's what's called a Continuous Bezier. And that's just what it's called when you move the handles. You can move them in and out, or you can twirl them like this. If you hold Alt, you can move one of them independently like this. Now this is just called a bezier. It's not. That's all it is. Just a bezier, and you can hold alt to move it like that and it comes back to the regular one hold alt again and it moves it like broken so let's go back to the regular also if you hit the uh, pen tool and you mouse over top of the um, bezier handle it changes to the convert vertex tool which you can see if you hold up here on the pen tool convert vertex tool same thing that also if you have that selected that'll also break the bezier handle there is also another uh, type of handle this is and it's called linear so if you have the convert vertex tool on and you click right here on the uh, actual keyframe point it makes hard straight lines and angles now this is good if you need to uh, like there there'll be times when you need to use this and um, just so, just knowing how to do it is very handy 
So if you click on it again, it'll go back to what you had previously. So those are the different types of keyframes. Remember that if you hold down G, it oh you gotta have the arrow selected. If you hold down G, it'll temporarily go to the uh, pen tool and make sure that the pen tool is selected. And then if you hold down G, there you go. It'll change to the pen tool. It was changing to the convert vertex tool when I had it on there before. So I'm holding down G and you can't see it changing, but if I'm still holding down G right now and I mouse over, it goes to the convert vertex tool. So that's a quick overview of the types of keyframes. Remember that keyframes are down here. So we can move on to uh, maybe editing these keyframes here.